welcome tunatics. Today we're presenting three hysterical ducktails. Don't use that word! Uh, three duck stories of duck cartoons. That's right, that's right. Three hysterical duck cartoons. Hello everyone, Tuna Amp here. Something interesting came through my YouTube stream. I figured, why not talk about it? That is, of course, the 1990 version of The Littlest Pet Shop. I hate this show. I hate this show with a passion. No, I'm not talking about The Littlest Pet Shop. You didn't click on this video to talk about The Littlest Pet Shop. We're talking about the reboot of DuckTales. They released the trailer today, and I figured, let's take a look at it and discuss it. Now, I grew up with the original DuckTales. Loved every single minute of it, with the exception of Bubba Duck. And apparently the production crew didn't care much for Bubba Duck either. If you watch the later season, Bubba is hardly in there. They really focused more on Gizmo Duck. But besides that, DuckTales was a fantastic action-adventure cartoon. With Scrooge with Duck, Huey Dewey and Louie going treasure hunting, exploring the world, and going on exciting adventures. Even when they're at home, they had fantastic background characters too, like Launchpad McQuack, Gyro Gearloos, Fenton Crackshell, The Beagle Boys, Magicka Dispel, and of course Flint Heart Glomgold. The soundtrack was amazing, and the animation style, even though it was animated overseas most of the time, kept with the Disney style. It was Disney's longest running syndicated cartoon. Because for some reason, they stuck to 65 episodes after DuckTales. Unless it was Darkwing Duck, Goose Troop, or Aladdin who had episodes on Saturday morning. But even then, you couldn't beat DuckTales. Now that I have my nostalgic trip out of the way, let's talk about the preview of the 2017 DuckTales. Now, over the years, we've had reboots. We had some good, and we've also had a whole lot of bad with a little bit of meh in the between. So far, the reboots of 2017 look excellent. We'll find out how Samurai Jack does in a little bit. And I'll get to that one later. But let's talk about DuckTales. First thing you'll notice is the animation style. It's very much not like Disney. But it is very much almost like, I want to say Gravity Falls-ish, because the backgrounds are very detailed. But the characters are very, I want to say, plain? Simple. I want to say simple. But that seems to be working for this day and age. No, I don't even say they're simple. I want to say they're sharp. Yeah, that's more like it. They are sharp. They're not as round or bouncy as their 1980s counterpart. But that doesn't feel like a bad thing. Then we get to the nephew speaking. And I have to say, I don't know what to make of this. Are you really our uncle? How old are you? You used to be a big deal! Whatever happened to you? I wasn't necessarily a fan of the 1980s versions of the Huey Dewey and Louie when it comes to speaking because they all sounded the same and they had that raspy voice. Hey, just look at that aerodynamic design and those radical radio tires! That scooter is state-of-the-art! And also, I wasn't a big fan of Webby. These voices sound a little too old for these types of characters. Now, this isn't the first time a cartoon character sounded too old for their age. I mean, look at Dipper. Heck, look at half of the characters from anime that came from Four Kids or Saban. I'm sorry, but half the cast from Digimon sounded like grown men who had their noses plugged up. Same thing with the cast from Yu-Gi-Oh! Look at me, if I sound like this, I'm actually sounding like a kid! Four kids hire me! Oh wait, they went bankrupt. <laughs> Sorry. So the voices I have to get used to, because Huey, Dewey, and Louie sound way too old. And Webby definitely sounds too old. I mean, what are these kids going to sound like after they hit puberty? Oh wait. They're related to Donald Duck. <laughs> you guys, our family is awesome! Another thing that I noticed about the first scene is this joke right here. McDuck Manor? As in Scrooge McDuck? The Bajillionaire? You're finally gonna sell us. Alright, 
That is some good writing. And I'm hoping that this is foreshadowing things to come. Because if this joke is any indication, we are going to have a superb series on our hands. Another interesting note about this series is this is a reboot, not a continuation. And thank goodness for that. Because even though we're comparing it to the 1980s version of DuckTales, we don't have to rewatch it to figure out what is going on. That is a lesson that both Powerpuff Girls 2016 and Zalin Chronicles needs to learn. Because boy, both of those series are a mess with continuity. You might as well just retell the whole story. I'm Scrooge McDuck. I made my name being tougher than the toughies and smarter than the smarties. As far as David Tennant as Scrooge, I think he fits in really well. As far as personality is concerned, we'll see which version of Scrooge we get. Are we going to get the more stern and cruel version of the comics? Or are we going to get a more torn down version? Like we did with the original DuckTales. Oh, and his coat's red! Well, that's interesting, because his original coat was red in the comics. So I'm looking forward to Scrooge's development. I'm back! Oh my gosh, the nephews! What are your blood types? What's Donald really like? Who's the evil triplet? Louie. <laughs> As for Webby, not liking the fangirl stuff. Although, I don't know if anybody knows the doll that looks like the 1980s version of Webby with the arrow shot through the heart. What are you saying there, writers? You don't like Webby? Nobody likes Webby? Maybe there's a picture of Bubba around here somewhere. <laughs> it is going to be interesting to see the development of Donald Duck. Because in the original series, he went out to sea when he joined the Navy. In the original Donald Duck cartoons, he really wasn't that much of an adventurer. Sure, he joined the Army, because his outfit totally indicates that. But his greatest adventures are with Chip and Dale. Although he did battle some spooks in some of the old Mickey Mouse cartoons. To be honest, I don't mind this change. And I wish I knew more about the old Donald Duck comics and the old Scrooge McDuck comics to see how much an adventure he actually was. We also get a glimpse of Lance Pad McClack. Even though we don't get much of him, it's nice to see that they didn't cut back on him crashing all the time. Well, actually, he didn't crash, did he? He just did this. Aw, family truly is the greatest adventure of all on the ground! And then he pulled up. My prediction? He's going to be the Seuss of the series. As far as the villains are concerned, we get some kind of ghost thing, but then we get a shot of a treasure room with the backside of some shady looking characters. And one thing I noticed instantly about one of them is one of them is wearing a kilt. And my mind automatically goes to Flintheart Glomgold, the second most wealthiest duck in the world. Now it remains to be seen if this is actually him, but I'm pretty sure it is. And if Glomgold is there, I'm hoping the others are there as well. Most notably, the Beagle Boys. I love the Beagle Boys, not only because they are good comic villains, but also because of how many different variety there are of Beagle Boys. And of course, Ma Beagle herself. I also hope that Magic of the Spell is there as well. And it's voiced by June Foray. Unfortunately, from what I heard, they replaced the entire original cast. So my guess is, June Foray is not going to be Magic of the Spell if she is there. From everything that we've seen in this commercial, from the characters to the locations to the action and adventure, it looks fantastic. I just hope, hope, hope that the writing matches what we see on the screen. Not gonna lie, I have high hopes for this series. And even though Disney has had some missteps in the past here recently, uh, Pickle and Peanut, the 70s, there's a few of them that weren't that great. Disney seems to be on a roll. Phineas and Ferb was fine. Star vs. the Forces of Evil, Gravity Falls, Wander Over Yonder, and Milo Murphy's Law. They were all great. I don't see why DuckTales cannot be part of that group. But we have to wait till summer to actually see 
if it's going to be as good as we all think. I'm Toonamp. I'm glad you tuned in. It's time for me to tune out. I'm back on Chops of Territory. Bold new discoveries. You guys, our family is awesome. Aw, family truly is the greatest adventure of all oh, no, the ground.